Hi, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and today I am going to show an example of the process that is required to create a print track inside of Logic Pro. In a previous video I made, uh, and this is through the Soundcraft Signature Series consoles, by the way. Um, that's the key to this. Um, in a previous video I made, I used Pro Tools, and I have gotten more than a couple uh, comments, emails, uh, you know, um, questions from um, subscribers or just viewers uh, about, uh, hey, can you show us how to do it in Logic? I can't figure it out. Or I'm having problems. All right, so that's the purpose of this video. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to create a print track through the Logic doll um, running the uh, Soundcraft console um, uh, I have a just a small little uh, flute whistle pan thing whatever uh, that I did just as an example and I'm not working logic so I don't have any sessions you know full sessions that I have uh, prepared so I'm just doing this real quick anyway I've got as you can see uh, the two instruments are routed through outputs 3 and 4, which is analog 3 and 4 on the soundtrack console. They are in turn routed to group 1 and 2. I then have my effects, which is a chorus and a reverb, routed through outputs 5 and 6, which is analog 5 and 6 on the console. They are also routed to... Uh, groups one and two and uh, the reason for that is I want to be able to mix or blend my effect with the dry signal of the tracks and that's what this sounds like All right, not bad. Okay, so now I want to print that. How you would do that in Logic is you would create a new track. I want my input to be, now this is for the uh, the signature multi-track 22. Um, depending on which version of the signature series console you have, you're going to use your highest set of outputs. Um, again, on the 22, it is uh, 23 and 24. I think on the 12, it's 13 and 14. Don't quote me on that. I don't, I've never owned those, so I don't know how they're set up. I can only speak for the 22 multi track, which is input 23, 24. My output is going to be 21, 22, which is my master uh, out. That's how it's set up on these consoles. All right, I want to have input monitoring. And record enable you don't have to do that you can do that on your own but logic allows you to preset that so it's already uh, working for you you hit create and I'm going to mute that I don't need to hear what that sounds like that's going to create a loop I hit mute in fact you'll hear it right there there's what I want don't want to hear so you could also turn off input so that'll you know, re remove that. You don't have to hit mute if you re turn off the input. Anyway, this is my print. Obviously, the output is 2122 based upon what we just set in the preset for the track. And our input, you'll see right here, is 2324, which is your print bus on the 22 multi-track. All right, so you can see me talking right here. That, that's that's the signal that's going in the record is enabled and now I'm going to send the signal of my stereo track into the print track
awesome. And again, um, here is the what I, what we just printed, soloed. Great. So now I could take that and export that, whatever you needed to do with it. Um, you could also work with your, if you weren't happy with what you got, you could work with your blend on your console. Uh, again, the way I did it is on output five and six right here was my effects. I don't have to, everything here is zeroed out in, in logic. I'm using the board to get my, 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 you know, my mix, my, you know, my blending, um, panning and all. So, um, that's how I do it. Uh, I don't know if this will work for you guys, depending on which version of the signature console you have. Um, that's, this is what works for me or not for me. This is how I figured out how to get it. I don't again, I don't use logic. So, um, I apologize if what I'm showing you doesn't work for you. This is just, uh, I sat down with the, I sat down with the doll real quick and figured this out. So uh, hopefully this works for you guys as well. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to comment on my videos. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much. You guys have a great weekend. Bye-bye now.